Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for June 1st through June 15th. It's hard to believe we're halfway through 2019. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, and comments. It truly makes me so happy to see how active you guys are on the videos. And welcome back those of you who are subscribers. I will be unavailable for personal readings until after June 15th. So for my next set of videos, um, Instant Go and personal readings will be available um, available again. Um, as far as the energy therapy, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. I literally have clients spread all around the globe at this point, which I am beyond grateful for. Um, the energy therapy is really powerful to help you in letting go of things from the past, working through any emotions or anything that's unsettled within you it can bring you into full balance and really connect you to body, mind, and spirit so you can live from a more powerful place within yourself. So the energy therapy, um, all the info for that is on the website below. And if you saw my last set of videos, I have expanded my business and brought on a really beautiful soul. Her name is Elaine. She is a incredibly gifted energy therapist and healer as well, specializing in distance energy healing. So um, Elaine is available through my website as well. So you can book with her, you can book with me, whatever resonates with you. And definitely take advantage. There is a 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So you can take advantage of that, uh, try it out, and just see how it feels for you. So that's it for Shop Talk. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is going to be for June 1st through June 15th. I've already fully shuffled, so I'm just going to do a couple here. Friendly reminder, the readings are not gender specific. It is a general reading, so it can go, you know, it can resonate with you or someone that you're dealing with. Okay, let's see what we've got for you. Woo, okay. That was the Queen of Pentacles came jumping out. I love that card. Okay, interesting. So first out, Libra. <clears throat> excuse me, first card is Seven of Wands. So this is very much a card of resistance. But the resistance is like inner resistance. So what is it that you feel maybe you're pushing back on a little bit or maybe hesitating because you're going over things and trying to sort it out? I also feel a little bit of fear, like you're maybe afraid of something. And this is interesting because I know the last reading was really about like business decisions and moving forward in that. So I'm wondering if there is something that has come up that you're growing through or wasn't, you know, weren't expecting to deal with. But what is this for you? It'll be different for each of you, okay? So this resistance can be around work. It can be around a relationship. It can be around maybe something within yourself, your health, your fitness routine, your diet, anything like that. But the next card that came jumping out is the Queen of Pentacles, which is a very, like, grounded energy, very abundant, very reliable. Um, this card really makes me feel... Uh, like taking care of the home and nurturing those things that are important. So this does show that you are still in a very grounded, like good place within yourself. So good job on that. I feel like if things are a little hectic around you, you are maintaining um, within yourself. You're not being thrown off because the last card out here is the five of swords which can be a disagreement, um, an argument. It can be uh, walking away from something or someone is walking away from you. Maybe you thought something was gonna move forward and it just hasn't come together. So it's interesting when I'm looking at these three cards because it's like you in the center here. I, I definitely feel this Queen of Pentacles is your energy, Libra. But around you, yeah, I just heard the word tested. So like you're being tested. You're being challenged. You're being tested. And again, this can be coming from a romantic partner, a new business opportunity, a work situation, 
family. So what uh, you should know what I'm talking about um, as I'm saying it, okay? You should just feel, oh yeah, that's, that's what I'm resisting. That's what I'm being tested in. But what I love about this is you are here. Look, you're like, I'm not gonna get enrolled and pulled into that. Maybe in the past you would have, but you've grown so much, Libra, that you're able to not get enrolled into the petty drama um, or maybe get enrolled into other people's stuff. And you're like, I'm just going to maintain my happy, balanced Libra bubble over here. And if you want to have drama, you can have it over there. But I'm going to be here doing me. So I feel like amidst what's going on around you, you're still in a very good place. I'm happy to see that. Okay, so next out we do have the Nine of Wands. Again, this is like defense. You, I feel you might be having like some fears from the past come up. Like you're trying to move forward in things or in something, but there is some fear. And I did feel some fear around the Seven of Wands too. And to me, when fear comes up, I always view it as a very positive thing because it is showing you where you can grow. It's showing you where you might be limiting yourself. It's showing you where you can maybe shift your thinking about something. So fear is a very powerful tool that can move you forward. I mean, fear wants to stop you, right? That's like the goal of fear. But if you can separate yourself from that and, and use it as a positive, it really can launch you forward in your life. So I feel like I want to ask you, what are you fearful of, Libra? Like, what is it that you're afraid of? If you can sit with that in yourself, that will lead you to seen on the other side because typically on the other side of fear is our true desires and what we like really want so try to be aware aware of your fear i've also got the page of cups here so this can be somebody new coming in for you it might be a water sign but i'm more so feeling this is a message of like non-commitment like something wants to move forward, but maybe because of the fear that you're feeling or you're unsure of something, you're like, mm, I'm just going to keep this lighthearted. Like, I don't really want to deal with this just yet. So you're playing like the page of cups, more lighthearted and playful and goofy and not really serious, um, which is okay. That may be how you're kind of dealing with whatever this is. Because what the next card tells me is things are going to get resolved. You are going to work through whatever this is around you. You know, the judgment card helps bring awareness to situations, people, things in our lives that need some awareness and some attention, okay? So these might be your little fears down here that you have to face. Um, but this is a card of like renewal and rebirth and like stepping forward on a brand new page, which I'm happy to see that because whatever's coming up for you, it always is divinely guided. So you need to face whatever this is in you, okay, whatever this fear is. And again, it is a general reading, so this can be around love, it can be around um, abundance or a work opportunity, a job, a family situation. But the judgment brings forgiveness. It brings forgiveness and kind of things settling to move forward in a positive note. So let me see what comes after that. Okay, <laughs> so We've got the judgment card, which I just went over. And then interesting, the next two cards that jumped out, Libra, I've got five of pentacles and three of swords. You may be growing past being done, being left out or left behind out of fear. Like letting go of disconnect. 
or people who easily disconnect from you. If you, okay, this is interesting. I'm feeling if you have someone in your life that like pops in and pops out and is very hot and cold with you, they may have pushed you to your limit or they're like really excited about you and then they like shift their tune. I'm feeling like a very on off thing. So again, this can relate to love or a, a partnership, um, a friendship. You may have a friend who's like in and out of your life and you're just like, I don't know what's going on. And I think you're like fed up. You're kind of done with it because this three of swords is showing me this is something from the past that is still lingering within you. And the five of pentacles tells me there's a disconnect. So either you feel left out in the cold or you're leaving someone out in the cold or a complete miscommunication or disconnect in communication. So this can be you, oh, and that's what the battle is. Okay, I'm starting to see this more. So Libra, you're like in your happy place. I think someone around you who used to be able to manipulate you or like challenge you in a way or play some sort of games with you and they used to work on you like you used to fall for them is what I'm feeling and you are you're done with that you're not getting enrolled this time you're like, nope, working through it, working on myself, dealing with what's there, and this is not going to slow me down anymore. And the last card out is the King of Wands. Passion, desire, I feel this person that you've been dealing with that maybe is hot or cold or in or out, you may fully end it completely, okay? So it could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. But that's why you're resisting because you know you're kind of the one who has to make the decision. I don't think this person, okay, this king of wands, they're not hearing you. It's really up to you. And they're testing you. And you are not falling for it this time. Very interesting reading. Yeah, I really feel like you are seeing things from a completely different perspective in your life. Your awareness, your intuition is so much stronger and on point that you are able to observe and not get enrolled. Maybe like you used to, okay? I hope this is making sense for you. There's kind of some interesting messages here, but the main message that I'm feeling is you are being tested and you are going to pass this test in a different way than you have. And you're leaving this stuff in the past. Like whatever this pattern is, it's like done. And there's a lot of fire energy out here. So it could be a fire sign, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or just someone with a lot of fire in their chart. Yes, okay, I love this message. Focus, which is what you're doing. You are not being enrolled and distracted into whatever this outside stuff is. So you're really keeping your focus on yourself, your own happiness. You're able to maintain this. And I don't even really see your emotions like getting upset or like, yeah, you're just holding it together really well, Libra, and handling this in a very mature way way not just like mature but spiritually mature like you have wisdom in this situation so good job on that um, I hope that resonates with you if not you can watch your moon sign your rising sign your Venus or your Jupiter um, thank you for all the likes subscribes and comments I love reading the comments below the video so thank you for leaving those um, as far as instant go and personal readings, I will be unavailable for personal readings until after June 15th, okay? Also, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. I have clients all around the globe at this point. So all the information is on the website. Um, 
which is, the link is below, uh, to read about the energy therapy. And if you saw my last set of videos, I have brought on a beautiful soul named Elaine, who is a powerful energy therapist and healer as well. And she specializes in distance energy healing like I do. So she is available for you through my website. You can book a session with her or with me, whatever resonates with you. And take advantage of the 15% discount for first-time energy clients, okay? So that's it for now, Libra. I'm truly wishing you all the best, and I will see you back here for the second half of June readings. Take care.